Oh, that was beautiful, Rachel. <laughs> I had some help pushing the buttons today. Rachel, that was perfect. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Hey, everybody. Woo, I am sliding in here, right? Well, I'm not really on time, am I today? <laughs> I um I had to go shoot a video this morning, so I hit my goodwill, but it was pretty pretty wiped out, so I had to go a couple other places and get some other footage, and so I'm doing something a little different with this video that I shot today, showing you guys a little retail arbitrage along with the goodwill arbitrage. Uh, arbitrage is when you buy something and you turn around to flip it for a profit, so. I uh, got here, got a catalog made, and um, got my my mods all settled in for the day here. And I think we're ready for a sale. Woo! It's been a week. It's been a week. Uh, for everyone who joined me live on Monday for the Dog Junkies live thrifting. Wow, that was so beyond uh, how we expected that to go. And so if you have been waiting for um, uh, an email or something from me, uh, thank you for being patient. <laughs> We're finally getting caught up. In fact, um, Carrie's off today, but I've got Dottie downstairs, like packaging things up like crazy. Uh, so we still have a few more invoices to send out, but because we can't kind of did the like, the best offer back and forth thing through email. I'm just waiting for some responses before we can send final, final emails and all of that good stuff. So um, that's, that's where we're at. <laughs> so we're getting it done though. We're getting it done. And it was uh, for everybody who has been asking how much we raised for dog junkies. Uh, oh my goodness. Oops. I just, what did I push? Hold on. Stand by, stand by. I will find myself. There we go. Um, <laughs> uh, we raised over a thousand dollars with merchandise, and then about another three hundred or so in donations that have come into them. So it was phenomenally successful for them. Because remember, this is a very small nonprofit. And that thousand dollars is going to go a long way. So um, that, that was amazing. We're going to do that every single first Monday of the month. It's going to be a regular thing. That way they have time to, you know, restock with all new stuff. And uh, trust me, next time it's going to be way more organized, way more organized next time. Now that we know how it's going to go. We didn't know how it was going to be. I thought I was going to sell a couple of things. You know, people would shout at me and say, hey, grab that. And then it turned on to like a full on, you guys wanted a lot of stuff. <laughs> like, so, yeah. Woo. And we're still, and we're still working on it. We're still working on it. Okay. So, um, my moderators are working out who's doing what job today in this live sale, which actually is a live sale. I got some really fun stuff. I hope, does anybody in here like Shih Tzus, Shih Tzu doggies? Uh, let me know now, because I've got a bunch of really cute Shih Tzu doggy stuff coming up. And if nobody in here likes Shih Tzus, I could be in trouble. I've got like some of the most adorable mugs you've ever seen. Come on. Come on. Look at that. Look at that little guy. Um, I got Charlie Brown. I have, oh, look at this. Look at this, you guys. Look at this trinket dish. Look what's coming up. Uh, so we got that and much, much more. The things that you see in the thumbnail are all things that are in the sale today. Uh, we've got about 50 items to sell today. And so the way this works is... Oh, you guys are answering about the Shih Tzu stuff. Yes, we have some kitty stuff today, too. And some glass and some pottery, as usual. Um, so the way this works is I will show you an item and everything is best offer battled out over here in the chat. Uh, <laughs> I think some, some channels call it warring 
over the stuff. Some call it um, bidding. We don't like to call it bidding because that insinuates that we're having an auction. And for legal purposes, we're not calling it an auction. Simple as that. Not that we can't have one. It's just that uh, I've had a few issues. So <laughs> let's just put it that way. Being challenged on whether or not I can run an auction. So we're not running an auction. We're simply selling stuff and it's whoever has the best offer over here in chat. That's that's how we roll. Uh, so we do dollar increments. Everything is in dollar increments until we get to something. If it goes over $50, it's $5 increments. And we also do something called Oh, I was just reading Melissa's like, hello to anyone else I didn't see. And I thought we were missing somebody or, or that we couldn't see her. Sometimes your mind plays tricks on you and you just see a couple of words. So all good. All good. Um, we also do just in case. And what that means is as I'm doing a countdown of going once, going twice, you have an opportunity if you have been participating up to that point to put in what we call a just in case offer which kind of works the same way like a proxy bid does in an auction. So you don't get charged that full amount, of course, unless someone comes in like right behind you. But that is like your max so that it kind of protects from anybody coming in and, and bidding like one or two dollars when you would have been willing to go more. And we do that because we have lag and everybody has a little bit different lag time so because of lag, some people's internet may be a little slower and you don't see one of those offers come in and then you miss the thing for, you know, like a dollar. And I know how disappointing that is. So that is why, though, we only allow that for people who've already been actively battling for that item. That just keeps it fair. That way nobody can come in and kind of, you know ninja snipe it at the last minute we don't like that we, i'm all about fair guys i'm all about trying to keep this as absolutely fair as possible i can't i saw a sign today i almost bought it it said you can't keep everyone happy you're not a taco <laughs> but i really try i really really try to keep everyone happy but i will fail i will disappoint people I will do things that people find unreasonable and, and that's just the way it flies. But know that I do my best to keep it fair and square. Uh, let's see. I've got, uh, I think we've got the amazing Tigers Timeless Treasures is calling our souls today. We have the amazing Melissa. She's mostly running our spreadsheet on the back end, which you guys don't see. But we have a spreadsheet. So when you win something, we're writing it down right away, writing down the amount paid, all of that so that we don't lose track of that. What we need from you is, if you've never done this before, I need you to send an email right now. Oh, you know what I don't have running? Hold on. Stand by. There it is. Uh, I need you to send an email to the niche lady at gmail.com. And make sure it includes your real name and your chat name if it's different. So see over here, when you type something, your name shows up. Some of times it's a channel name. Sometimes it's just your name name. And we need that information tied to your real name for the purposes of creating invoices. I also need your zip code so that we can figure out how much the shipping will be. And I am shipping from Las Vegas, Nevada, on the West Coast. Um, I do use Pirate Ship to figure out the shipping, so it gets you the absolute best rates possible. Um, of course, combining stuff always helps. We do combine shipping. And in fact, when you spend $60 or more, I'm just going to give you a $15 shipping credit. Uh, which pretty much means free shipping for most of you. I Very seldom do I have to charge more than that. Unless, like, I have a bunch of big stuff in the sale and people buy multiple large items, then, you know, then it gets into it. But for the most part, that means free shipping. Uh, I do ship to Canada, and that shipping credit does apply to my Canadian friends as well. 
All right. Um, mods, did I cover everything? I think I did. Except I have to turn my phone down. Because it's gonna it's gonna ring it at me if I don't. There we go. All right. What is the niche lady's name? My name is Danny Ackerman. That is me. Okay. Yes, shipping to Canada it can, it can be it can get expensive. Yeah. So up to a four pound package is like forty six dollars right now to ship to Canada. So yeah, you just need to keep that in mind. Got to keep that in mind. All right. I think we're ready to call our first lot. Which let me get over to my spreadsheet so I know what I'm selling. Uh, you may see things you've seen before. That would be if someone did not pay for their purchases. And what happens if somebody doesn't pay for their purchases, uh, they get put on a no can buy list. So uh, make sure that you are only making offers on items you truly wish to purchase. So that doesn't happen. All right. First item is this vintage I believe he's made of rabbit fur, but he's a real fur poodle. This one little leg uh, looks, I don't know if that's, it's, I guess that's how it's supposed to be. I guess it is on the other side too, the wire sticking through. Um, it seemed like on one of them, it was a little more finished, but yeah, see, I think, I think originally they were all kind of covered up like this one, but you can see the little wires kind of sticking through a little bit. But other than that, He's in really, really fine condition. Very good condition. I have my ring light on this side. So I'm hoping we got our, our lighting in our focus doing really good here today. And I've got Puffles 65 for $1. Everything starts at $1. I don't know if I mentioned that. Everything starts at $1. Are you, why is that showing up in blue like that? Rachel, is that something you're doing? Oh, I got Rachel behind the scenes highlighting things. So that could be, that could be what's going on there. Oh, that's, that's what it is. How come I never noticed that highlights it for me in blue, Rachel? That's so funny. That's so funny. All right. I got a Lizzie 33 at $8. And I'm seeing some new names. So I'm hoping you guys have indeed sent over your uh, information. We will do some spot checking on that as we go. Thank you for that, Ruth. All right. We're at $12 with a Lizzie 33 going once. Going twice. And we will call him Soul. And we will see what happens here. And I'm trying to. Oh, that's, I saw somebody ask, uh, Deborah, what's going on? You're in the hospital again, Deborah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I am so sorry to hear that. I am so sorry to hear that. All right. Lizzie did a just in case, as you can see there. So, uh, she will get it for $14 since there was a $13 offer. So $14 to a Lizzie 33. Thank you so much. And that's, that's a good example of how just in case works. I'm trying to figure out like, where do I want to go with things so I can keep a little bit organized here. All right. Our next item. Um, when I researched this, I came up with it being a Nesco. It is not marked Anesco, but that is what I found out about this little owl creamer. And it is a creamer, as you can see. It is simply marked Japan on the bottom. So uh, I did find 
several that were uh, marked as UNESCO. So that's where I'm coming up with my identification. But there we go. And we're starting him at $1. He is cute. Yeah, that just really, 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 really sucks, Deborah. I am very sorry to hear that. He is cute. He's a very cute little creamer. Oh, and I love that my camera is somewhat behaving today. Right, Bougie? Bougie's been getting very talkative. So we may we may hear some talking out of Bougie today. I've got Puffle 65 at $11. All right, he's going once. You could, you could use it as a cup. It's kind of a small cup. Going twice. And we'll call him sold. We had a little action come in there at the end. Yes, when you send an email, I have an autoresponder. I do that because it answers like the majority of questions that that come through. It also tells you like what information is needed and all of that. So, but you will get that autoresponder if you sent your email to the correct place. And there's our sold. And that is going to Michelle for $16. YouTube said this started at 9 p.m. That's very odd. That's very odd. I don't know why YouTube would do that. YouTube does some crazy stuff. Technology. It's all this technology stuff, and they think they got this technology down so good, but they don't always have it down so good. All right. Here is an adorable little vintage pencil caddy, like a little uh, desktop caddy with you ready for spring, guys? Look at the daisies. Look at the white daisies. It's wood. You can see there. Oh, it does have a little bit of marks on that side. Just notice that. I'm not sure what that is. It might be a pen mark. And it's by Wooden Elegance. Genuine American black walnut. Handcrafted in the USA. Card and pencil holder. April House. Lenexa, Kansas. Original price was $6. Got its original label down there. There we go. We are... Okay, some of you are saying your YouTube had the correct start time. That's odd. Sometimes it can be your computer's uh, clock got off kilter too. I've had that happen. $7 with Puffles. Seven dollars. Can you pick up if you're local? We could probably arrange something. I don't give out my home address, uh, but we can we can make something happen. Seven dollars for puffles. You're currently looking at lots of white snowflakes, not daisies. Eek. <laughs> We are warming up. Oh, my gosh. We are warming up. It's so exciting, which means the big tortoises will be out soon. All right. Going once. Going twice. And sold. A couple of you said it said 9 p.m. That's wild. That's wild. I wonder why it was doing that. There's almost 500 of you who made it here, so. There's our soul. Thank you, Tiger. Going $11 to Puffle, 65. Yeah, I need the, the curtain thing. I don't know. I'm still debating if I'm going to go uh, switch out curtains so that uh, Bougie shows up better. Yeah, you're hidden over there. Nobody can see you. What do you, what do you think about that? Well, I don't know. 
What do you think? You're just gonna sit over and do your little squash. Okay, next item. This was a night light. This is where the little uh, light bulb went in, if you will. And um, there's the little notch for the cord. So uh, I don't know what this little divot is on the head here for, uh, but it is an eye rice. Is that right? Eye rice is what the tag says there. Or L rice. Is it I rice or L rice? No, it's I W rice company made in Japan. It's got a little discoloration. I haven't tried to clean it. It's a spaghetti poodle. I didn't don't think I said that. It's that spaghetti texture. Or maybe they don't call this one spaghetti. Maybe they just call this textured because isn't the spaghetti like the ones where it's like actually little strings. So I'm not sure that they were. Is this spaghetti or not? What do you call this? It's textured. It's like that texture. Maybe it's still called spaghetti. I don't know. It was a lamp. Yep. Toothbrush. That's what I said. It was a nightlight. It was a nightlight. And it could be a nightlight again. You just need one of those little, those, just those little lights to stick in there. And uh, he would be a nightlight all over again. Sugared. Sugared. There we go. That's the term I couldn't think of. I'm a little brain dead this week. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Sugar. Do, 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 do. Oh, honey, honey. I don't know why that song just came to my head. <laughs> All right. we. I see $4 with Gail. Hey, here's the thing I can do too. If you bought something on Monday. I don't know. I shouldn't say this. I shouldn't say this because I really can't be opening packages back up. Never mind. Forget I said that. I was going to say I can throw stuff into the boxes that are going out, but I, I can't. I can't do that because those boxes are being sealed up as we speak. And I don't want to be opening boxes and putting things in. So sorry. Sorry. I even said that. Oh, you guys are singing it now, too. Puffles is at six or seven dollars. Seven dollars with Puffles sixty five. We're gonna win once. Rachel will catch up. Gail's back at ten. Rachel caught up. Sometimes she has to go take care of birds. And I W Rice is the maker. I.W. Rice is the maker. Did I say going twice? I think I did. And we're going to call him Sold. Oh, no problem, Kitchen Corner. No problem at all. You guys are all singing that song now. <laughs> Okay, Gail had a just in case of 14, but did not need it. Got it for $10. $10 to Gail. All right, we're going to do a little choice lot. And the way a choice lot works is I'm going to show you a couple of items. And your offer is for one of them. But if you are the high offer, you can take... In this case, both of them. Sorry, guys. I uh, thought I got all these stickers off of these. And I do not have the sticker off of this one. Hold on. There we go. Well, I'm not going to be able to get it all the way off. Okay. So your offer is for one, but you can take them both if you are the winner. Look at this kitty. This is bougie. Where are you going? Why are you going over there? You need to... You need to just get over here now and climb up. Get over here and climb up. Uh, so this is a kitty. These are brand new. These came from our, what we call our world market. Uh, they, um, they have little open to the public things you can go in and buy stuff. So look at, look at how cute he has with the butterfly on his nose. And then the other choice 
is a narwhal. It's a little narwhal. Like you could put your rings on his horn or the rest of your little jewelry on the rest of the dish here. What are you doing? You got to climb. There you go. You can climb up. He's climbing up my leg. Step up. You know, it's way too early. No, you can't be on my shoulder already. It, you will be there way too long and you will poop on me way too much. I, yes, I know. I'm going to, I'm, I know, I know. I'm going to put you back over there in just a moment after we finish this thing. All right. <laughs> on the kitty, you would put your rings on the tail. See the tail has a little ring holder there. Do you like these? Are you, you're, you're scared of them? You want to see them? You want to see? No. <laughs> Peekaboo. Peekaboo. All right. We're at 22 with Puffles. 22 is with Puffles. You'd rather have a bougie than a barking dog. <laughs> I have both in my house. I see 25 with Puffles. All right. We're going once. We're going twice. And we're going to call them sold. And if you are the winner, be ready to tell me which one or ones you would like. And there's our sold. I saw, let's see, a just in case came in. So Puffle 65 for $29. Puffle 65, do you want the narwhal? the kitty cat, or both. And then backup will be Debbie. Oh, goodness. And Debbie, could you let me know uh, if you're comfortable giving me your last name just because when I try to search Debbie in my email, it will be crazy. <laughs> so... I need to know how I find you. Puffles takes them both. The, they're super cute. You're going to love them. You will love them. All right. Great gifts, too. I'm pretty sure that Rachel picked these out. It is, I'm going to sell this as a pair. We're not, we're not choicing this one. Selling as a pair. Thank you for that. And, um, Melissa, if you can just make a little note of that somewhere for me, just so I can make sure if Debbie buys something that it's easy to find. So this is a little pair of glass swan. I believe they're meant to be little candy or nut dishes. Um, Rachel, did you find these? I, I want to say that you found them. Yeah, really, you're really going to start preening me right now. Do you really think that that my hair needs to be taken care of? Yeah. 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 You're a crazy bird. All right. So you're getting the pair. You helped pick them out. I thought so. I thought so. Uh, bougie, I need you to go back on your perch. Would that be acceptable to you? Would it be okay to have you go on your, would it, could you go back on your perch? Yeah. <laughs> that was yeah all right so since you're agreeable to that let's just uh let's move you back over here a little buddy good boy step up there you go hey look you want the rest of this you want that one too yeah there you go all right all right hopefully bird will stay contained for a while Um, no, Remy is a, uh, a ring neck. Rachel knows better than me. I think the, uh, Remy that was in the bird shop is a ring neck, ring neck pair, which is actually what I wanted. And then, um, 
the breeder had the babies and posted them. And I was like, oh, well, you're very, very close to a ring neck. So uh, I ended up with a Quaker instead of a ring neck. I've got $10 with Susan Watts. We are a ring neck. Okay, I was right. Going once. Sonia's at 12. We are going twice. They do have a little maker's mark on the bottom. That's a little C in a triangle. I don't know if that means anything to anyone, but there it is. You can see it. And we are going to call them bum, 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 sold. And she puffles is uh has already earned that $15 shipping credit just let just letting you know puffles just letting you know so if you're just tuning in and it's scrolling down below here once you spend $60 in my sale I basically give you free shipping we don't just call it flat out free shipping um in case the shipping is you know like $35 I can't do that but I figured out that most shipping falls under the $15 mark so it's a it's up to a $15 shipping credit if you spend $60 or more. Just so you know. All right, going to Trendelin for $14. We have another trinket dish. This one is vintage. This one is made by Pottery Craft. Now, I do believe that is supposed to be a cat. I I think so. Yes, it's a cat with a tie. And oh, we do have Father's Day coming. It's this really cool uh, retro blue and brown glazed leaf. The back is marked Pottery Craft. I believe he's like from the 70s. I don't know if you guys can see that that well, but I promise it's there. And he's made in the USA. Oh, you guys know there's a song there. He's got a little uh, copyright stamp on his behind right there as well. I believe the song is born in the USA though, not made in the USA. All right, I see Lisa for 16. Oh, thank you, Cheryl, Cheryl Lynn. <laughs> we are a funny hot mess you gotta remember like when i go shopping with carrie it's usually after uh, we have spent the morning doing shipping and invoices and the plethora of other things that have to be done around here and then so we we are a little goofy like we are a little a little cray cray by that time of the day <laughs> And it comes out, but that's like, you know, that's why my, my whole tagline is, you know, go be profitable and make it fun because if your work feels like play, it's not going to feel like a job. And so that's what I encourage everyone to do is, is find the fun in whatever you do so that it doesn't feel like a job. I've got Sonia at 19. Sonia is at 19. Hi, Kaz. Nope, not too much. We're going once. Born in the Swiss chalet. That's funny, Judy. Going twice. Noah used to sing the Sino song. You know what the Sino song is? Jesus loves me, this I know. <laughs> I said going twice, right? I think I did. I think I did. So the next thing we are going to say is soul. Soul. 
whenever you're out, you pretend you're on a scavenger hunt. I love that. At uh, least the dog junkies went really well. There's our sold. The winner is Sonia for $19. Thank you. Thank you. I've got a really pretty little vintage stained glass. Uh, I think it's meant to be a business card holder. I don't know if you can come up with a repurpose for it if you don't have business cards to put in there. You can even put, you know, maybe some succulents or a little air plant or a little little something something. Uh, it's it's deep enough to hold, you know, a little dirt if you needed it to. Or you could put fakies in there because I like my fakies. Uh, but it is stained glass, as you can see there. And it's kind of like a slag glass. The bottom is a deeper, darker brown. And then it's got these little round stones here. It's very, very cool. The Ski Man. Shout out to Angela. Hi, Angela. Air plants. I've never gotten any real air plants. I actually found fake air plants. Can you believe it, guys? Like, no chance of killing even the air plants if I buy the fake ones, right? <laughs> Cindy, all you need to do is send an email over. And the reason I do that is because once this stream ends, I have no way to find you. So we just ask anyone that's going to participate to send an email that has your real name, your chat name, just like it shows up over here, and your zip code. That's it. And you only have to do it once, ever. Just once. And we will have it. All right. I've got Susan at 26. We're going once. We're going twice. And sold. I just found a little bonus item here that if we have time to get to it, we will. But I didn't put it on my little sheet. So let me just tuck it. I'm not even gonna show it because I don't wanna I don't wanna tease you guys. <laughs> you can kill a fake plant too. <laughs> I'm sure I could if I tried. I'm sure I could if I tried. All right, Susan, it's yours. It is yours, my friend. Okay, I might be in trouble for selling this. I don't know. Rachel's watching. She'll yell at me if I'm not supposed to sell this. Rachel, is it okay to sell this? I got to ask Rachel first. It's the little carousel horse glass thing. And I, I sometimes Rachel's going through my stuff and she kind of claims things, but doesn't take them to her room. So I can sell it. Yes. Oh, okay. That's what we decided is that scoop would break it. Okay. Whew. I won't be in trouble. It's a spun glass carousel on a little mirror tray. And quite possibly one of the ones made like at Disneyland. Very, very detailed. Oh, I guess I should have the horses going this way. I'm spinning them the wrong way, making them go backwards. I've got $6 with Melissa. Scoop is our little peach-faced lovebird who we, we just, he, what, what did I say, Rachel? Two years? He's two years old now. Yes, we've had Scoop for two years now. Uh, scoopers are, he like started like the real hardcore bird passion for us. We had, we had one little parakeet before scoop, but it was like scoop is the one who won our hearts and made us decide that we want like tame birds that can come out of their cages and fly around. And, um, but he's a brat. He is like a cat in bird clothing because he literally likes to go up and knock stuff off the shelves just because, just because he wants to. Uh, so 
I've got I've got museum putty for Rachel to have her briars horses like stuck to the shelves so he doesn't like knock them all over the place because he's a bad bird. He is a bad bird. <laughs> but we love him. We do love our scoop. Okay, I've got $22 with Michelle. $25 with Michelle. Let's count her down. Going once. Going twice. And sold, sold, sold. And I see a just in case came in. So we will see how it turns out. All right, Marsha got the just in case and gets it for $26, $26. Okay, next I have this really cool sand art paperweight. I don't, oh, there we go. Now we're focusing. Oh, look at my dirty fingernails, you guys. You can tell that I was working right before this. Focus again. Focus. There we go. Look at the workmanship in this and the colors that make up the mountains. I just think it's absolutely incredible how they blended those colors like that. Is that crazy? And uh, it's in a glass case and then they I don't know what the material is that they seal it in there so it doesn't move, but, but there you go. There it is. It's a sand art glass paperweight. I don't know the amount of time it would take to do that. And like, what if you make a mistake? Like, can you imagine like, oh shoot, I messed up. Boom. Dump it all back out and start over. <laughs> I just couldn't, I just couldn't do it. Yeah, they come out of Arizona. I, I do believe this one is probably out of Arizona. They do a lot of it down in Arizona. I got $9 with Melissa. <laughs> I just read Charlotte's comment there about a friend that was even watering her fake plants. That's when you know you have really good, realistic fake plants, right? <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. I've got $12 with Gail. 12 is with Gail. Going once. 14 with Becky. Going twice. And we're going to call this one sold. Yeah, I know what uh, Jordan has some troubles with. Um, not so much Dozer. Dozer, yeah, actually, she did tell me Dozer likes to get into some of her hanging plants. Um, and Daisy ate, I forgot what the plant was. She had like one of the, a tree kind of a thing that is very, very toxic. And um, I always know that when uh, Jordan calls me like either later in the evening or really early in the morning, it's usually an animal emergency. <laughs> and um, Daisy had eaten some of this plant and was, it was actually good that she was throwing up. Like that was a good sign and found out that the boyfriend knew <laughs> that the dog had eaten the plant and didn't say anything. And yeah, but Daisy's fine. Daisy's still like a little problem child. I'm sitting here cleaning my nails, you guys, so that I'm not embarrassed anymore. All right. That went to Gail for $15. Okay. Next we have a little vintage. A little vintage uh, Burlwood. Actually, it's okay. It's California Redwood, the Burl Shop. So I'm assuming it's 
considered burl wood. All burl, burl wood can come out of many different types of trees. It's, it's just a certain part of the tree. It's almost like the knot in the pine, you know, while well, there's burls. So this is from a redwood, California redwood, and it is a pen holder. And there we go. It's just a little slab. You know, you guys, the dust, the dust is free. I don't charge extra for it. <laughs> your cats keep your spider plants pruned. I need to grow some spider plants because I found out tortoises like spider plants. Oh, it's getting, it's exciting. We got our tortoise pens almost built, almost. I just say almost because we still have to add some dirt. The nursery ran out of the dirt that I needed. So I was waiting for them to restock. I have to go get about, oh, another 12 to 15 bags of the dirt. And then we have to plant some plants and some special grass seed that's tortoise mix. And we're going to be good to go. I am going to be putting a cameras. Um, for the tortoises and hopefully being able to capture some footage, you know, of them just acting natural that I can add into some of my videos for you guys. Awesome. Thank you, Carrie. All right. We're at $5 with Gypsy Moon. We are going once. We are going twice. Yeah, puppies in general are just high maintenance. I don't know if Tiffany's in the chat, but if you guys have been following along on Tiffany's channel, she keeps showing updates of Bear, her German Shepherd puppy, and he's at that handful stage right now, big time. And we are going to call this one... Sold. I have not watched that lavish monkey. I have not. I generally don't have a lot of time to watch much stuff. Can Noah or Rachel grow plants? I suppose they could. Gypsy Moon, you held on for $12. Held on for $12. I have another special treat, you guys. I have another special treat. Okay, this one I've actually put some adornments in it so you can see what it looks like with plants. It's a llama. It's a llama planter. And um, he's got his little legs out behind him, which I think is just so stinking adorable. Look at him. Look at that face. He also comes from World Market. He does have a drainage hole in the bottom. Would absolutely be able to hold your plants. These are just some fakies I just put in there just because. That's what you're getting. You're getting the, uh, the no drama llama. The tortoise whisper follows me on TikTok. Oh, I'm going to have to go take a look. We'll have to go take a look. I can do TikTok, I can do TikTok because it's, it's little clips. <laughs> Do you know that they just allowed TikTok creators to upload 10 minute videos now? TikTok is expanding. That could be troublesome. I don't, I don't know. I, I barely have the patience for a three minute video these days. So Susan, I'm not counting down yet. Save your just in case until I'm counting down. Gots to wait, gots to wait. All right, we're at $29. Oh, it's a Zen Llama. That, I like that. Look at his little, you can see his little fur on his face. Look at that. All right, we're at $29. Now we're counting it down. Going once. Going twice. and sold. Yeah, I don't mind the three minutes for certain types of videos, but the problem is a lot of people don't understand when a three minute video is appropriate and they just want to do a three minute just to fill three minutes and yeah. Yeah. 
All right, Nora, I think you have some lag going on, my dear. <laughs> Your daughter has more followers than you. Jordan's doing really well on TikTok. All right, that is going to Gail for $29. Oh, I can't watch a full length movie anymore either. I, I just, I just can't. My, I'll get like into the like it and then it's like my brain is like over here and over here and over here. Like, all right. This is a brand new uh, little owl. I don't know. You could put hats. You could put coats. I don't know what the original purpose is. Uh, it comes from Ikea. You can see there it's got its little Ikea-ness on the back. It's a Vandering. And there's the instructions on hanging it because I guess you need instructions on hanging this. I don't know. I guess I think it's pretty self-explanatory whole nail, but okay. <laughs> but there we go. It is an Ikea owl rack new in the package. So, um, I talked about this on the video that I shot today. You won't see that one until Sunday, Sunday. Um, but I talk about retail and some people go, yeah, but you could get that at Ikea for, and I have no idea how much this originally sold for. Let's just say it was $10 at Ikea. And then you go to sell this online and it's selling for 30 or 40 and, and people go, yeah, but you can get that at Ikea. But a lot of people don't have Ikea. They don't have access to the same things or Ikea doesn't carry this anymore. It's a discontinued item. And so those are the things that can sell really well if you are a reseller. So don't just pass by new items because you think, oh, that came from Ikea. So it must not have very much resale value. So I really cover this in the video that'll be out on Sunday as to how to do some, some retail arbitrage. All right, we are at $16 with a net. 17 with Trendolin going once. IKEA loves instructions. Yeah, and they're usually teeny tiny print. Going twice. Um sold. I did, Cassie. Uh, they raised about thirteen hundred dollars. I want to say was was the amount. It was somewhere around thirteen hundred dollars, which was awesome for them. And the cool thing is that because it's a video that keeps getting watched, people are still going over to the website and donating, which I absolutely love. I love their, their website is a home for spot a home, the number four spot. Um, if anybody wanted to go over there and throw them a couple bucks, but, uh, the work they do is so, so important. In fact, um, if you watched my yard sale video, hold on, I'm trying to figure out, Oh, that's how you open it. Okay. I, I'm going to show you this and then I'll chit chat. <laughs> or I won't get stuff sold. So this, is a paperweight it's in its original box and it says it's a gold foiled embossed paperweight i'm trying to take it out of the box here stand by got to be smarter than the box i guess here it is a woman's dress should be like a barbed wire fence serving its purpose without obstructing the view sophia loren <laughs> Um, and it is a flat glass. There's the felted back. Comes in the original box. Voila. And it's made by Punch Studios. Punch Studios is the maker on this sweet little paperweight. Um, so... In my, in my video where I went yard sailing, and you might have seen the yard sale where there was, there was actually two old dogs. I think I only showed the one. It was a 16-year-old pug, 
pug. Rachel, was it a pug? I think it was a pug. Um, they also had a 17 year old poodle. And the story was that the owner of the house had passed away and that's why they were selling everything. And they kept telling everybody, we're looking for a home for the dogs too. We're looking for a home for the dogs too. And I was like, oh, please be careful about just handing these dogs off to anybody that walks into your estate sale. And I gave them a home for spots information because that's what a home for spot does. It takes those dogs that nobody really wants anymore. The seniors, the special needs, like Thor. Thor is a young dog, but he's blind. And so he's a very special high maintenance dog that needs a certain person to care for him. And um, that's what they take on. They take on, they take on, they've got a couple right now, very poorly behaved dogs, like they're biters. Um, but, you know, those dogs would be doomed if they were at the shelter. They won't adopt out a biter. So they take them and they work with them and they rehabilitate them and they get them their medical needs. So, and all of that is super expensive. Um, and so all of that money that goes to them through their, their thrift store, every bit of it goes back into caring for those dogs. And of course, paying for the rent and utilities. Everybody there is a volunteer. There's no paid employees. Uh, so it's, it's truly a labor of love. It's truly a labor of love that they do. All right, we are at $11 going once. Hello, PK Mom Life. Welcome. Going twice. And we're going to call it sold. Oh, you think it was a French bulldog? It's possible. It's possible. I know it was old. I know it was an oldie. And it was deaf and blind. And it was, poor little thing. I totally would bring a, a dog like that home. Totally would bring a dog like that home if I had a home that was set up for a dog like that to be comfortable. I don't have a nice, quiet, chill home. I have stairs. I have people coming in and out because I work out of this house. So it just... It would not be a good situation for an elderly a dog like that. It'll be okay for Peanut as she gets older because she's lived here. She knows it's it's familiar, you know, and she knows where everything is. But a dog coming in blind, it would be a little traumatic. A little traumatic. <laughs> Some everybody say goodbye, Edward. <laughs> See ya. Um, all right. Next, we have a single wood bookend. That is a Scotty dog. He's a little carved Scotty dog. I wish I had two, but I don't. I only have one. He's got some wear from age. He's definitely got some age on him. As you can see, it's felted on the bottom. And again, the little bit of like dust and extra, we don't, we don't charge extra for that. That is just a bonus. It's just a bonus. <laughs> Cassie, we, Cassie, did you email? Um, just email me if you're thinking that you were first on something and didn't hear from us. We still have some invoices to send out. Um, email me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know that, Judy. Like, come on. Okay. We'll do it. The, we'll do it the way some people want. What do you think, guys? Should I keep talking? <laughs> oh my goodness! All right. Is nobody interested in the Scotty dog, or did I miss it? I see two with 
Oh, you know, I'm going to say that wrong. I'm going to say it wrong. Or Orithia, Orithia. Did I say it right? I hope so. I've got six dollars with Patty. <laughs> six dollars is with Patty. Did I did I lose Rachel again? I might have. Oops. What are you doing? Rachel, are you lagging? Carrie does not have her own store. Nope. But you can always reach out through my email if Carrie buys something you wish to purchase. Seven dollars with Debbie. I've got seven with Debbie. Oh, it was a phone stand. Oh, oh, that would that would work. That would that would work. That's a good idea. Thank you. All right. We are at $9 with, whoops, where'd it go? Are you back, Rachel? I got $9 with Patty. We're going once. <laughs> Craftomatic. <laughs> so true. Oops. Oh, it's going fast. Going twice. And we're going to call this little guy sold. And I'm just waiting. There it is, Patty. You held on. Thirteen dollars. Thirteen dollars to Patty of Patty's Garden and Vintage. Are my dragon lovers here? I have a dragon. This dragon is a burst stone dragon. I should have taken him out of the box before I went live. Don't get scared over there. I'm not. Just, don't get scared. I think we just no, I thought you were sleeping. You're not sleeping. You're just watching me. All right. There we go. It's brand new in the package. Got all its packaging. It is, I believe this is a uh what did we say? November Topaz Dragon. Look at him. He's got his little original tag there. Look at him. Look how cool he is. Got to love that. The little baby dragon hatching out of his little egg. Look at that. You know, somebody's got a November birthday. That's their birthstone. There it is. We are already at 25 with Anne. 25 is with Anne. He is cute. Thank you. I'm I'm assuming I'm supposed to say that cross stitch fan, not X stitch fan. Um, but yeah, no, yeah, I don't. I don't. I kind of feel bad for people that have to act that way. I really do. It, it just, if anything, that's that's what weighs heavy on me is the fact that there is such unhappiness because I'm an empath. Like I pick up, you know, on people's energy and the fact that there are so many seriously unhappy people just, it kind of weighs on me. It kind of does. But as far as taking the words, like that doesn't bother me. I'm like, whatever. And I, and I highly encourage all of you to be the same way. It's like, yes, there is a, there is a, being considerate and thinking about others thing. And, but there's also being true to yourself and who you are and just living your life as long as you're not hurting other people. And I fully encourage you all to do that. 
It's kind of liberating, actually. All right, we're at $37 with Anne. No, it absolutely is not a reason to be mean. It's just a symptom. The meanness is a symptom. That's what I'm referring to is like, I see it as a symptom of somebody who is, is usually just got so much pain within them that they take it out on everybody around them. That's what I find sad, very sad. All right, 43 with Sonia, 44 with Anne. I am going to be counting them down. What that electronic item was that you picked out for Mikey? It was for a game. It was it was some game contraption. That's the cool thing about this business. You don't actually have to know what stuff is. Just know how to look it up and find out if it's worth money. <laughs> I see 44 with Anne. All right, we're going once. We're going twice. Absolutely, Debbie. Absolutely. Every single day I do. He's resin. Yep. He's what I call good resin. You'll hear me say this. There's good resin and there's bad resin. He's good resin. Quality resin. And we are going to call him Soul. And I love that he has his original box to ship in. So we can assure he gets there all safe and sound with those little wings. Very, very protected. All right, put you back in there. Going to Ann Nunez. Four, 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 $55, $55 to add Nunez because of your just in case. Thank you. Oops. Don't want to miss your little, little tag and put your little tag in there too. All right. Next we have a charming tails. I used to have a lot of these in the sales and then I stopped finding them for a while. You're not going with. <laughs> and, um, and then I uh, found this one. This is called Team Igloo. Uh, this one sells for a goodly bit of money over on eBay still. Uh, this one happens to be signed on the bottom. There you go. By the designer. I don't know if that's a designer or the artist of that one. 1999. They are a Fitz and Floyd item. Come on. Come on. You were doing so. There we go. You were doing so good. There you go. This is a limited edition. I believe that means it's number 87 out of 623. And it is, it is signed by the designer or the artist or somebody. I don't know which exactly, but there we go. Oh, uh, Donatella, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I will absolutely. I, I'll probably buy like a tea because I don't drink coffee. <laughs> oh, and I do love, I do love the Starbucks refreshers. Those are pretty good too. Yes, they are. All right. Did I lose Rachel again? Did I, did I lose you? Did I lose you, Rachel? Bushi was very, very loud all morning long. So I think he got worn out. Did you get worn out? Did you get worn out? Yeah, has it been a rough day? Rough day being a bird? <laughs> Thanks, Judy. Yes, he's got some chicken breast thawing for tonight. I've got Connie Kirkland at 20 is where we're at. I think I lost Rachel for the moment. See, this is the other thing. We've got we've got Noah home and on his computer, so our bandwidth is a little more stretched today than normal because uh, before Noah would be at work. 
Noah's not at work anymore. I see $26 with Sonia. I know, kids, what you going to do? 26 is with Sonia on the limited edition signed Charming Tales. That is so stinking cute. Comes with, did I mention, comes with its original box. Boom, diddy, boom. They did write on the box, though, unfortunately. I got this at a yard sale. All right, we are at... 29 with Brenda. I'm at 30. He, uh, yes, but he's not working. He's playing. I clearly hear him playing his game in the next room. All right, we're going once. I'm going to start putting this back in the box this time. We're going twice. And we're going to call this one. There's the box. Sold. All right, make myself a little bit of room here to put some more goodies while we're waiting on the lag. Nope, Albert Lee, just one time, just one time. Oh, always, 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 Jen. All right, going to Warren Hart for $35. $35 to Warren Hart. All right, we've got some mugs again. Again, but not again. I showed one at the beginning. I, that's why I was thinking again. All right, let's see. I'm going to choice three of these amazing mugs. They are brand spanking new. They are by Streamline. They come from our world market here. Uh, these came right out of the showroom. And you're going to get a choice of either the bear, and they're nice oversized mugs, very good quality, never been used. So there's a bear. There's a tiger. <laughs> there we go. Tiger. I can't pick up a tiger anymore without thinking about tiger. And then we have a panda. We have a panda. So your offer is for one of these, but you can take more than one if you are the winner. So tiger, panda, or bear are your choices. These would make great gifts. They're, yeah, I thought you said durable. Yeah, I was going to say they're durable too. They don't feel like that. You know that there's a ceramic that's really thin and cheap filling. I try never to pick that stuff up because of that. But these are nice, thick quality. When we say, you know, it's got some weight to it. These got some weight to them. These are good mugs. Mary Spry is at $20. I think I lost Rachel. I hope everything's okay in there. I may have to text her and find out. 21 with Nora. 21 with Nora. 22 with Trisha. 22 is with Trisha. I'm not sure what you meant there, Fran. I'm just going to keep switching this one around in my hand so you see them all. 26 is with Sonia. We are at $28 with Trisha. 28 is with Trisha. Okay, all in, all done. 
I'm going to count them down. Going once. Going twice. And sold. Now we've got this little bit of lag time here because you haven't heard me say that yet. You'll hear me say it right about now. <laughs> there it is. Oh, and Linda came in at $30 at the end. So Linda, would you like the tiger, the panda, or the bear, or a combination thereof? Linda, Linda. You guys, make sure you're in live chat, not top chat. Make sure you're in live chat and that you are up with the, the sale where we're at by refreshing. As you, some of you, like Debbie, it looks like you're lagging. Yes, I have glass today. I do. I have some really nice pieces of glass. I have a, I have a cranberry glass vase. I have, uh, I have a cobalt blue angel. I have a little uh, sleeping glass kitty. And Linda wants the tiger. All right. Linda's takes the tiger. So my backup people are, let's see, Trisha, you are next. Trisha, you are next. And I have the bear and the panda. I have the bear and the panda. And after Trisha, uh, let's see, after Trisha would be Sonia. Would be Sonia. So Trisha first, then Sonia. And if you don't want either, just say pass. Trisha takes the bear. All right. Sonia, do you want the panda? And if Sonia doesn't want the panda, then I will offer it to Debbie. Debbie Arsena. This is what I got left. Sonia. Yes, Sonia takes the panda. All right. All right. Whoops. I lost my daughter. I gotta, I'm, I'm sending her a little, I know we're in the next room, but I gotta send her a text and see if everything's okay in there. We've, uh, we've been dealing with one of our little birds that hasn't been doing really great, too. So I'm a worry wart. Okay, I'm going to sell this one as a singleton, you guys. Well, because it's Charlie Brown. Uh, it's the same same company that where we got these from. Oh, this one's a van door. Oh, she says her internet isn't working. I'm going to tell her to try rebooting. Um, this is a 2018 Vandor, as it says on the bottom there. It is a little old Charlie Brown. It's got a yellow handle. Again, new, never used, never used. So... Charlie, Charlie Brown, Charlie, Charlie Brown. Okay, she's trying to. I'm trying to help Rachel solve her internet problems. All right, we're at $25. Oh, looks like you got it back. You're back, Rachel, you're back. At 25 with Ann Nunez. This room gets really, really warm this time of day. Like all of a sudden, it's getting really hot in my office. I'm at 26 with Trendolin. 27 is with 
uh, 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 uh. Um, 28 is with Melissa. There we go. 28 is with Melissa. Am I going to, oh, not, no, I'm not going to put out two videos a day, Denise. That means I would, I would have two videos a day for him to edit so that we can get a little bit ahead. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't foresee being able to put out two videos a day. That would be, no. <laughs> I would need to clone myself. I've got uh, $30 with Dorothy. She was first at the 30. 32 with uh, Luba Carney Dreams from yesterday. All right, $32 is where we're at. Going once. Going twice. And we're going to call it sold. Okay, Luba Carney dreams up from yesterday. I'm not finding an email from you. Not finding an email unless you sent it somehow differently and didn't include uh, your chat name. Did you change? Like I'm like kind of looking back. Yeah, you need to resend your email. Resend your email so that your chat name, just as it shows up over there, is what we see in the email. Otherwise, I can't find you. Um, Anne threw a just in case, which makes Anne the winner at $36 for Charlie Brown. $36 for Charlie Brown and Nunez. I really appreciate you guys helping me with keeping things straight and organized and easy to find you uh, so that when we send out the invoices and stuff, it makes it, it easy for us. I super appreciate it. I have what I believe is Akama pottery. It is not a signed piece, uh, so I can't completely verify that it's Akama but it sure has all of the makings, the color, the design. Uh, it is what is known as a seed pot, which it's really hard to see, but there is a hole. There's a hole right there. Uh, so I don't understand quite how these work, but I think, I don't know, maybe I'm just, I'm just gonna be making stuff up if I try to guess, but my guess is that drop the seed in it and it grows, I don't know. I don't know the significance of having that little teeny tiny hole, you know, on this hand sized piece of pottery, but, but there you go. There you go. All right. Uh, let's see. You love Noah's comments. I love Noah's comments too. <laughs> I always review the video before it goes, you know, live. And I, I always giggle at all his little comments he throws in there. Oh, Jamie, I do see. Oh, there you are. There you are. All right. I'm at $16 with Warren. And you think the hole might be for firing the piece? So no, there's some, It's there's actually a thing called a seed pot. That's when it's kind of like round and flat and it just has a little hole in the center. They call them seed pots. Could be used for incense. All right. You guys love Noah's comments. That's so awesome. So awesome. Yes, this is Tiffany's big moving weekend. Woohoo! <laughs> All right. I've got the Reverend Mary E. Parker at $22. And we are going once. We are going twice and we are calling this one sold.
I definitely think that Noah and Rachel are the best. I am a little impartial, but or partial. No, I'm partial, not impartial. I'm partial. And there's the sold Warren. You swooped in there at $40. Uh, here we go. Seed pots are vessels with tiny openings that were used to store seeds for future planting. The tiny openings helped prevent insects and animals from eating the precious seeds. There you go. There you go. I like it. All right. Now. I have a basket with a lizard in the simplest of terms, uh, but this is a, I'm reading my notes here, Lombok, Indonesia, coil basket with a wood lizard finial. So here is your little lizard. These go for a goodly amount of money on eBay. If you guys look, actually it looks like a frog almost, doesn't it? Is it a frog? I think it's a frog. Now that I look at him, you know, close up. So um, they kind of tie the wood piece onto that. Looks like a tortoise shell almost on there. So there's a wood piece on the bottom woven in. There is a little bit of stitching missing right there. And wood piece on the top. And then there is the inside. And you can see the design. This is a really nicely made basket. Definitely not a cheap quality basket. Show you the ultra close up. Whoa. There we go. Now it's focusing. I, I thought it was a lizard. Now I'm looking. I think it's a I think it's a frog. What are you guys voting? Are you voting team frog or team lizard? Could be either. Frog, frog, frog. Frog. You guys are all saying frog. Okay. All right. All right. You guys are talking about Charlie Brown still. Okay, I'm sorry. I had to go back and read a few comments. <laughs> Hi, GG1515. Welcome. I see 25 with Trendolin. I appear to have lost Rachel again. We're going to have to figure out those internet issues. See, she's on Wi-Fi, and I'm I'm got a hard line that runs all the way across the hall and behind doors and into here so that I'm directly connected into the internet. $30 is with Trendolin. We're going once. We're going twice. And we're gonna call this one sold. And there's the soul. Trendolin did not need the just in case. Got it for $30. That's a good buy on that. Good for you. Okay, you're going to see a couple items that, um, unfortunately, I had opened up my shipping to Australia. And I had a wonderful viewer from Australia had tried to purchase a couple things. And then the post office in all of their infinite wisdom decided the only way to ship to Australia was via uh, Priority Express, which was like $80. So I did let her back out of that sale. And so I've got those items back in today's sale, including the Orifers glass paperweight heart. There is the Orifers sticker. Or is I <laughs> wrong way, Danny? Or as I like to say, Orphers. It's the Orphers. Come on. Show it to them. Goodness gravy. Oh, all right. You see it. I don't think it's signed anywhere else. So if it loses that sticker, 
nobody would know except by the quality you would you would know it was a quality piece that's what you would know about this piece look at how crystal clear that is with my hand coming through there that's how you know some seriously quality glass and it's thick and just absolutely stunning stunning piece of glass right there Yeah, until they open up the Priority Mail Internet or yeah, Priority Mail International and the First Class International, the shipping is going to be really cost prohibitive to go anywhere but Canada. Canada's pretty bad, but it's not as bad as overseas, unfortunately. All right. Uh, I see 24. Brenda, I think you meant 25, not uh, 250. I knew that. <laughs> but we already have 26 with Becky. 26 is with Becky. Just look at like, like literally you can just read right through it. Like there's no, no blur because it's just quality, quality glass. I'm at 30 with Carly. Hey, Carly. $30. It was 1966, Carly. No, it's not. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm probably drooping a little bit. Um, but no, I'm good. I'm good. It's got some weight to it. It's a paperweight. I mean... It's, it's appropriate weight for size. I'm at 33 with JA. That's going to be another really tough name to find in my email. Oh, boy. Troll Patrol. Troll Patrol. Get those hammers out. Get those hammers out. <laughs> I just realized StreamYard upgraded something. Just so my moderators know, I can now see when you get rid of those comments. That's awesome. Before, I couldn't tell. I didn't know if it was being handled. And so they fixed that issue. That is amazing. So make sure you, you I don't know what the settings are for you guys, but make sure they're not just blocked for five minutes. Make sure they're permanently like block blocked. Yep. I'm at 36 with Becky. 36 with Becky. Let's count it down. Going once. Going twice. And sold. Thank you guys for reporting them as well. Although I just kind of feel like it falls on deaf ears. I don't know why YouTube doesn't do a little better protecting against those things but i wish i wish i wish i wish they would all right going to j a j a oh, let's see let me see if i can find you in my email because that's a tough one that's a tough one whoops if i can type Okay, I found you. I found you. I think. Are you? Are you Joanne? Just confirm if you're Joanne as J A, and then I then I'll know. Okay, I found you. Okay, I can find you then. Just want to make sure I can find you. Just want to make sure. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Melissa, I just saw your note. I uh, trust you guys to take care of that. All right. Um, oh, thank you for putting that on the spreadsheet too, Melissa. That's awesome. You guys, I just, I can't even tell you how awesome Melissa is. I just, I want to give Melissa a big shout out because we did not prepare for last Monday that, you know, the, the, the big turnout that we would have had for that and that, it wasn't really meant to turn into a live sale. That was not the original purpose of live thrifting. And then it kind of did. And it was really, really cool. But we were completely unprepared. 
And Melissa, bless her heart. I don't know if she slept for, for two nights, uh, re-watching and logging every single item and every like claim that, oh my gosh, like, uh, she was just amazing. Just amazing. So I just want to put a big public thank you to Melissa over there who just does so much for me and uh, completely volunteer. And I'm so humbled, Melissa, that that you are willing to do that for me. I just, you are, you are amazing. You're an amazing woman. So thank you. Uh, next, next. Yeah, she did. Melissa is, yeah, on point. Yes. Um, all right. I have an Allen Hall Magnolia uh, covered bowl from 2009. Look how beautiful this is. Signed on the bottom there. There you go. Looks like that on the inside. Absolutely gorgeous wood bowl. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I don't know who Alan Hall is, but. But, 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 but. I've got Trendolin at 15. I got to do something real quick if I can multitask and do this while you guys are working on this item. Bear with me. Stand by. Um, let me see if I can do what I want to do here. Let's see. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I. There we go. There we go. Judy, I just gave you a present. <laughs> uh, let's see. Can I sing? I don't think I could have sang and done what I was doing at the same time. We've got Becky at 32. Okay, everybody say goodbye to Danielle. Oh, goodness. <laughs> no, not really. I'm saying that sarcastically. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Did I see Sunny Las Vegas pop in here? It does look like an acorn. Hey, Sunny. You guys go check out Sunny Las Vegas channel too when you get a chance. Sunny and I got to hang out with him and uh, of course Mikey and his beautiful wife, Courtney. Um, was, a, was, a, was that last week? That was last week, wasn't it? Whew, how time flies. Anyway, uh, we get to hang out and uh, go live on Mikey Bags of Money's channel. And it was the first time I'd met Sonny in person. And he is like the nicest guy. He's the nicest guy. And he is a very smart reseller. So make sure you go over and check out his channel as well. We have $42 with Dorothy. 42 is with Dorothy. I'm sorry, with Becky. My bad. Rachel's right. I'm wrong. I'm sorry, Dorothy. Yeah, I have to say that. Oh, thanks for posting that. Thanks for posting that, Melissa. I have to say that Carrie and I were really feeling the Cupid Shuffle the next day. <laughs> It ain't like it used to be with these legs. <laughs> oh, it was so cold. It was so cold. Yes, it was. Um, Becky, we need that to be a 55. I'm going to give you a chance to make it a 55 because when we go over $50, we need $5 increments. So I'm going to give Becky a chance to come in at 55 on that. There she is. Okay. Uh, so 55 is with Becky. I am going to start counting it down. We are going once. We are going twice. I got invited to go out with my, I believe she's 75 now. She's like, come on, girls, let's go dancing. 
And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so that's going to happen one night soon. And we are going to call it sold. You never have to apologize for being late. You never have to apologize to me. But thank you, Bonnie. We're just glad you're here. <laughs> it's like, you know, you get to where like, is this song over yet? <laughs> you don't want to stop, but you don't want to keep going. What do you do? What do you do? All right, that is going to Lynn for $70. Lynn Comble, Comble, Comble. Gosh, I know how to say your name. Name. Yes, it is live. I was, because I'm sitting here peeling a little bit of uh, candle wax out of this little guy before I show it, but I, I shouldn't do that because my brain just can't go too many different places. Let's go, Sonny. Let's, you name it. You name the day. Let's go. Let's go shopping. All right, we have a cobalt blue glass candle holder. I think it's a a cherub. Yeah, they looked a little like fairy wings, but no, I think it's a cherub. I do believe it's a cherub. I don't know who makes this one. It's kind of hollow on the inside there. And that there is a little candle wax in there still that I failed to get out of there. But there he is. He's beautiful. And he's like in deep thought is what he is. He's like really, really thinking about something. Uh oh, did I lose Rachel again? I might have lost Rachel again. No, nope, there she is. I've got a Gail. I've got Trendolin at 30. Trendolin is at 30. I don't, we got to figure out her internet issues for sure. Gail is at, well, Trendolin's at 40. There we go. Sorry, Rachel. I, I can't ever really tell if you're back or not. So $40 with Trendolin on the Cobalt Blue Angel. 42 is with Gail. We're going to count them down. Going once. Going twice. And we're going to call it sold. And the winner is Gail is going to get it for... $47, $47 to Gail Sprangers. All right, let me move over one here. Let's see, shuffle some things around here. Now, I call these reamers, and I got laughed at for calling it a reamer, but that's what I've always known these as, is a juice reamer. Uh, so you might just call it a juicer, but this one is pottery. And now it does have a little, little bit of nicking right here on this edge, if you look closely. Uh, but it's a very usable piece. So it's glazed on the inside, but it's not on the outside. And there's the signature. Like, I have no idea whose signature that is. Hold on, let me... Ah, okay, I see what I did here. Okay. All right. A reamer. Okay, you guys agree. Is that uranium glass by any chance? I'm not sure what you're referring to, Gail. I don't see her comments at all. Whose comments do you not see? Sonny, did you design the shirt for Paul's fundraiser? Was a question I see asked there. 
Yeah, we got to do some kind of a challenge. That'd be fun. All right. I'm trying to like catch up with what you guys are doing in there. It is big enough for a grapefruit fruit. You are correct. There's just like some comments coming in that I'm like, I don't know what that comment's about. Oh, keeping my troll patrol busy today. All right. <laughs> you could do an orange. You could do an orange. Just that would work. Oh, you were asking if the angel was uranium glass. I don't think so. No. Sorry. My brain goes in 26 directions. All right. I've got $22 with Judy, $24 with Trendolin. You want to see the mark again? There is the mark. There is the mark. And then do not know who that mark is. I just don't have the time to... Uh, do the research that I used to be able to do. Hey, Gino. I don't know. I don't know, Gino. I don't know if there's anybody around here like that. All right. Trendolin's at $30. We're going once. We're going twice. They do an awesome job. Yes, they do. And we are going to call this one sold. And let me see. And going to Becky Thompson uh, got them for got them got it for $41 it I'm holding of them in my hand that's what made me say that uh next I have adorable little shih tzu coasters little shih tzus they're all the same design they are like that um like that thirsty stone they're cork backed they don't look like they have ever been used the corks are all nice and clean and nice. And they are this cute little, little Shih Tzu doggy. And we are at $1, $10 with Amy. Already at $10 with Amy Horseman. They are cute. 15 with Anjo's Needful Curiosities. $12 with Maple Grove Thrifters. Now, Peggy, did you change your chat name recently? If you did, if you could please just send me an updated email, because I think I just used to have you as Peggy Gilmore. Oh, no, her dogs would chew them up. What? <laughs> oh, that's probably why they're so clean. Nobody wanted to put anything on their sweet faces. But I got to tell you, okay, so I, I have a mouse pad that was made a long time ago. Um, I literally, this is my mouse pad that I've had forever because it is my children's faces. So I run my mouse over my children, you know, day in and day out. <laughs> <laughs> that is my Quaker parrot bougie. I usually bring bougie over in like the last part of the sale because bougie gets a little attention hogging on my shoulder. So I don't keep her here the whole time. All right, going once, going twice. And sold. Yeah, that too, Darlene. <laughs> that 
too. Like, how do you potty train a bird? That's what I got to figure out. There's got to be a way. It's got to be a way. All right. Oh, sorry, Peggy. Your uh, your 21 came in after Tiger called sold. All right. That's going to, uh, who is that going to? Rachel took it down a little quicker than I was ready for it. So I'm watching my spreadsheet. There it is. Anjo's Needful Curiosities. Thank you so much. <laughs> Okay, I identified this as a Lennox glass sleeping cat. Uh, it is not marked Lennox that I can remember. Uh, no, it is not. I identified it through research and finding several that had their sticker still to make sure that it de indeed was. So you can call it just an art glass uh, sleeping cat paperweight, but I can tell you it is Lennox glass. It's really pretty. We had sold this before. This was one of the pieces that um, my Australian viewer wanted to get, but was unable to due to the shipping. There's a little bit of roughness, like right here on the bottom. That's on the bottom. You can see that nice clear base. This is a quality piece. He's really nice. I love how the color shines through him. And let's see where we're at. I see Marsha at 28. Marsha is at 28. Oh boy. There goes my, my troll patrol is on patrol again. <sighs> so annoying. It's just so annoying and disturbing. But we will, uh, we will let them get that cleaned up. Hit them hammers, folks. Hit them hammers. It's not showing me yet that you guys have been able to block those. So just want to make sure that you have. Somebody let me know that those are, those are bye-bye. Let's see. You can probably see. Oh, no. Okay. Thank you, Tracy. Did that make those all go away? Yeah, I think you can only. That's why they do so many, because you can only stomp one at a time. So the first thing you do is you like you can put them in timeout and then go back and block. You time them out and then block. Because if you time them out, then they can't post anymore. And then you have time to block them. But I don't know why it says it was only blocked for five minutes. I don't, I don't know. Come on, YouTube. Come on. Does it glow? I don't believe so. Most contemporary glass doesn't glow, you guys. Uh, glass glows because of the ingredients used in it. And it's the older glass that had ingredients that glowed. Okay, where are we at? We're at Sonia for 37. Thank you, Rachel, for keeping track of that. Woof. 40 with Trendolin. 40 is with Trendolin. All right, are we ready to count them down? I'm gonna count the cutie down. Going once. Going twice. Remember, over 50 is $5 increments, and it's gonna get down to the wire here because I am going to call it so hey no I just kind of threw Judy into the fire there I just I just uh, donned Judy with her wrench just a little bit ago so <laughs> thank you Judy uh, I figured you might like the uh, capabilities <laughs> Melissa <laughs> you're so bad you're so bad. <laughs> All right. Trendolin is the winner at $50. I think. No, wait, 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 wait. 48. 48 to Trendolin. I'll get it right. Okay. How about Boston Terriers, guys? Look at that face. Look at that face. 
Look at this little guy. He is resin, but again, he's what I would refer to as the good resin, quality resin, not the cheap dollar store resin. And he is a good sized figurine, statue, if you will. He is cute. You Canadians, you're brutal. You're just brutal today. <laughs> All right. We're at $5 with Brandy. Five is with Brandy. Have you shown the like button some love? Oh, thank you, Lisa, for reminding everyone. It really does help the, the channel. And when you guys hit the like it tells YouTube to show the videos to more people. So I super duper appreciate it when you hit that like button. I'm really bad about asking for it in my videos. Like I watch videos and they're always, they got the little insert and they say, please like and subscribe. And I'm like, I just assume people just already know that, but I should probably say it more. I should probably do it. All right. We're at $18 with Connie. 18 with Connie. Ruth, we're already at $18, my friend. Yep, that's a play stance for sure. That's the, that's the, let, let's go. Let's get the ball. $20 with Brandy. All right, let's count them down. Going once. Going twice. And we'll call him. So. And there's a soul going to Debbie Arsena for $22. $22. It does, Angela. Yep, it sure does. What happened with the Boston Terrier? We just sold it, Connie. I'm not, I'm not sure what you mean. All right. Someone said, do we have glass? We do have glass. I do believe this is probably Pilgrim glass, but I'm not 100%. Um, it is not marked on the bottom, but it is a cranberry glass with a ruffled edge and an optic ribbed pattern. And they do that by putting the ribs on the inside with the outside being smooth. So just that the optic comes through like a little swirl pattern, like a swirly swirl. And I would say it's about eight inches tall. Again, I don't have my ruler in here. No, I think it's a little shorter than eight inches. I think it's probably more like seven inches. I'm, I'm gauging it off of an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper that I know the size of. <laughs> so it's a guesstimate. It's a guesstimate. Miss Pamela. Hello, Miss Pamela Blanchard. We got $10 with Connie, $12 is with Becky, 15 with Brandy, Rachel's internet is flying good again, yay. Uh-oh, has Miss Pamela been sick? I'm so happy that spring is right around the corner and sick season is going to be behind us and everybody can get their sunshine and get healthy again. $20 is with Brandy. Not related to the auction email, Stacy. I mean, I'm sure we did. We are a little behind on emails because this week we literally, we literally got 
hundreds per day. You know, like so we've been sorting through and getting through and um I have got um my newest employee Dottie is downstairs. She's packaging up orders as we speak. 23 is with Brandy. Uh Denise the tortoises should wake up anytime I, I would say they're probably going to wake up in another week to three weeks. Another one to three weeks for the tortoises to wake up. But it will be happening soon, and I am so excited. It's always nerve-wracking waiting for it because you, you never know if they're going to wake up. So it's nerve-wracking. And then little Hope's going to get to go live outside. That's very exciting, too, because she's getting restless in her tub in my room. Although I will miss having her in my room. I, I really, truly will. Yeah, that was just on Monday. She had 246 emails. I think it went up to 275 emails. And that was just Monday. And then, you know, when we didn't respond to everything right away, we started getting emails on top of emails on top of emails. I think like 20 23,000 people have seen that video. Well, I'm just, I'm looking uh, because, yeah, 20, 21,000. 21,000 people watched that video and several people continued to email wanting like to purchase things. So it's been a crazy week. <laughs> uh, thank you, Judy. Um, yeah, it's, you know, some things just take patience. Try having a saltwater aquarium. That's a patience game too. It's been, it's, it's been a learning experience having patience. Believe me. Yes. Hope needs to be outside as soon as it is warm enough at night for her. So transitioning a tortoise from inside to outside is, is tricky because you don't want drastic changes in their their temperature. So it has to stay like in the 70s at night because that's what we keep our house at. So once we're in the 70s at night, she'll be fine to be outside. Hope still is under a sun lamp here in my room. So she'll be fine with the heat because it's hot, you know, under her sun lamp. But it's the it's the coolness that we have to be careful we don't transition her too quick. That's more than your spam emails. Get those too. Oh my goodness. Get a lot of those. All right. 36 is with Mary. We're going once. Oh, thank you, Louisa Whiting. Thank you for popping in. We're going twice. And we are going to call this one. Yeah, it was a big day, Stacy. It was a big day. I'm gonna call this one sold. Yeah, I have a service that comes out every two weeks and does like the water changes and all the testing and all that for the saltwater aquarium. Um, but the patience part is there's so many little ecosystems on ecosystems that have to exist for certain creatures to be able to survive. And you have to wait until the tank is established sometimes long as a year before there's things that you can add that you really, really want to add. Um, so yeah, there's corals that I really, really want. And there's fish that I really, really want. And they tell me, nope, you can't have those. You're not ready. I'm like, oh, I want. <laughs> okay. Ah, let's see. Becky, you got it for $37. I'm sorry, Mary, your just in case came in a little late. You might want to refresh and maybe hit that just in case just a little bit sooner. All right. What is next? Okay, I think it was Melissa that actually identified this rock for me as rhyolite. And it has this little miniature 
pottery piece in there. Look at that. Let me get my face out so it'll focus. Let me see. There we go. Look at the little miniature pottery sitting inside of this rock. I do not believe this was meant to go in aquarium. I had people saying it's an aquarium rock. Not with that piece of pottery. That piece of pottery would not survive underwater. Uh, so yeah, it's just a cool little piece of stone. Oh, you know what? It was identified because uh, somebody put a sticker on the bottom. <laughs> Melissa would have known what it was though anyway. I've got $5 with Puffles. Oh yeah, Gail, there is that too. So mine is a reef tank. So we're growing corals and I want to add more anemones and different kinds of little shrimp and crabs and things, but they all eat certain things that have to be growing and exist and all of that. And then like we had our wonderful little firefish and we loved them and they were so sweet and so gentle and peaceful. And then we added a purple firefish and he came in and murdered them all. And it was so heartbreaking. And now we can't catch him to take him out so we can put our little peaceful firefish in again. So we learned that lesson. That was kind of sucky doodles. Yeah. And then I had our starfish. Our starfish didn't have the right food. And I, I feel very bad that we basically killed the starfish. We did it. I did it. I shouldn't say we. Should not say we. It was me. Because he didn't have, well, actually, I was I was advised wrong, too. That That's part of it, too, is I got the wrong advice about being ready to add him. All right, we're at $18 with Giselle657. We're going once. We're going twice. Oh, yes, that would be our one and only sunny Las Vegas who's in the chat right now. And we're going to call this one sold. So fill me in because I don't know what's going on there, Sunny. So there's a fundraiser for uh t-shirts for the people in ukraine is that what i'm seeing and if so if it's still an active fundraiser and there is a link uh you are free to add that into the well actually um how would we do that how do we do that because i don't think it'll let you add a link or it, oh i think it will and then just one of my moderators has to approve it i think that's how that works so go ahead if it's still active Add the link into the chat if you have it. Yes, yes, yes. You are more than welcome to do that. I will fully support that. Oh, you're so welcome, Ray. I'm, I'm happy to do it. I, I, I mean, I really do try to help as many people as I possibly can. I really want to. Okay, we got another sheet. Can you tell, like, I bought out the estate of a Shih Tzu uh, person. Now, this is a tile. Now, just notice there is a little bit of chipping right there at that bottom edge. A little bit of chipping at the bottom edge. This is a vintage tile. Uh, it's actually a trivet because it says it on the back. It's made by painted tile by Pumpkin Ink, hand-glazed, kiln-fired, Albuquerque, New Mexico, trivet suitable for hot items or hanging and it's got a little thing for hanging or you could actually use it as a trivet and we are at five dollars we are at five dollars with mary ten dollars with connie ten dollars with connie kirkland Good question, Patty, but I'm sure there are ways. I thought it was really clever that people were renting Airbnbs over there, but obviously not going to them, not staying in them. But 
the money was channeled through Airbnb to get to the people. So I don't know. It's it's a mess. It is a mess. Oh, no worries, Margaret. $12 with Patty going once. Going twice. Oh, you will love your Quaker. You will love your Quaker. They are really fun. Bougie, where'd you go? Oh, you sleeping. Sleeping. I said going twice, right? I'm pretty sure I did. Okay. Next thing we're going to say is sold. Oh, and they're allowing the firefighter or the fighter firefighter fighters to stay in them. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. Oh, reach stretch. Oh. Okay, this has a it's it's got a little tag that I just dropped. Where'd it go? Okay, you'll have to trust me that it's got this little Jim Shore tag on this item. Um, Connie Kirkland for thirteen dollars on that item. All right, and I promised Rachel I was gonna slow down between items, and I am being really bad about that. Sorry, Rachel. I just kind of have my like rhythm of things that I go in. Um, this is a Jim Shore and it's got the little paper hang tag too that I just dropped on the ground, but I will include it with it. It is, I don't know, this one looks more like a lasso apso if you ask me, but I think it is a Shih Tzu. The name of it is Ming. There it is right there on the bottom. It's a 2009 and there's a couple little scratches on the back here. You can see got some scratching. Just want you to notice that. But but there's little Ming, Jim Shore. Jim Shore Ming. Oh, thank you, Margaret. Oh, Paul has a relative over there helping. That's fantastic. That's been, he's from the Ukraine and asked to create a custom design to print shirts. Profits will go to help refugees in Ukraine. That's fantastic. Did we get the link put in here? Did we, did you post the link? Let's make sure we post the link to get the shirts. That would be amazing. I don't have any docs and stuff today. I see Tammy at 20. Tammy Benton is at 20. Whoops. Sorry, Rach. <laughs> I didn't see you hitting it. If there's a link, you guys can post it a couple times. Um, 25 is with Patty. See Patty at 25. All right. All in, all done. We're going to count them down. Going once. Going twice. And we'll call him Soul. All right, I see you just in case came in, but you didn't need it, Patty. Uh, your $25 held strong, and you are the winner. Dum, dum, dum. Okay. Next. Oh, can I reach it? Okay, come back here. Come here, you little chicken. All right, we have... A vintage chicken deviled egg plate. Now, real quick, I got to point out, there's a little, little ding right back here and a little ding right under here, just so you guys see that. He's not perfect. I guess none of us are, right? <laughs> um, I think this would have held 
like little toothpick appetizer sticks because he's got little holes in there. So he can, he can hold little appetizer thingies too. Uh, there's no maker's name on the bottom. No maker's name. You can tell it was like fired with the traditional method where it, you know, sat on the pins. Uh, he's really fantastic. And, you know, I'm just saying Easter eggs, Easter eggs could go on this as well. He is cute. All right, keeping my troll patrol busy. We're at $15 with Susan. $15, $20 with Peg. $20 is with Peg. Twenty one with Susan. She has no place for such large things. Large things. Her room is a little full. <laughs> Otherwise, she totally would have wanted it. Twenty two is with Pamela. We're going once. We're going twice. I know, right, Cindy? And we're going to call it so. If I can find a place to go with him. Come here, you little chicken. Oh. Chicken's on the floor now. Oh. You're right, Connie. I need to, uh, I need to get that into the next sale, don't I? So what I do here is like, I back my car up to the garage. We open the door. I have special shelves right inside the garage door. I showed it on my video recently where I gave my little house tour. And I sort things by, are they going to live sale? Are they going to eBay? Or are they going to the booth? And it's sitting on my live sale shelves because I already had stuff already brought. So it gets pulled from there, cleaned, and then comes up to my office but I had quite a few boxes of stuff up here already. So it'll be in the next batch, which I'll get it up here for next week. I'll, I, I'm going to try to remember really hard to get that blue marble up here for next week. Yeah. There's certain items that I really need to show it on camera. Like, cause I hadn't even unwrapped it from its tape. So I don't know if it's chipped. I don't know. So I got to do that first before I can with good conscience sell it to anybody any other way. Thank you, Michelle. Who can have your horses? What horses? What are you talking about? Who's taking your horses, Rachel? I'm not taking your horses. Nobody's taking your horses. Thank you, Melissa, for posting the link. T-shirts for Ukraine. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, the Busty Chicken did sell. That one sold straight through emails, which you know you guys can do. Okay. I, I have another choice mugs. I have three birds, but I'm going to give Rachel first dibs on this one because she hasn't seen it yet. So let me just get a yay or nay from Rachel on this one. Okay, Rachel, I'll save this one for you unless you want to let it go. So I'm going to wait for Rachel to let me know on that one. Oh, Kaz wants Rachel to sell some of her horse stuff. Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> okay, so you want, oh, is it a penguin? I didn't even think it was a penguin. I thought it was just a cute little bird. Okay, Rachel's taking this one. All right, sorry, guys. Rachel's, Rachel's calling dibs on that one. Okay, so your choices then are a flamingo and a toucan. So we have a toucan and a flamingo that are the choice on this. So your offer is for one of the mugs, but you are welcome to take them both if you're the winner. Uh, this one, it, they're both by thumbs up. Thumbs up. Oh, one just says flam mug. The other says 
toque mug, <laughs> toucan and flamingo. Uh, so here, I'll show one at a time. There is what the bottom looks like. These are brand new, never used. Again, these are part of that world market demo pieces. There we go. I know it's upside down. Um, you can see these little wings embossed into there. They both have little wings embossed into there. Looks like a puffin, not a penguin. I don't know. It just looked like a cute little bird to me, which made me think Rachel might like them. All right. We're at $30 with Brandy Hudson. Who won the deviled egg plate? That was Linda Imbus won that. All right, we're at 33 with Mallory, 33 with Mallory, 38 is with Barbara. I'm holding this one backwards. You can't even see the flamingo. There we go. $38 is with Barbara Douglas, 40 is with Brandy. You guys are battling it out. All right, I'm going to start counting them down. Going once. Mallory's up to 42. Going twice. Brandy's up to 45. And we're going to call them so. And let's see who the winner is. There's the soul. Brandy comes in at $55. Woo! Brandy, flamingo, toucan, or both. Now, keep in mind, you're probably going to be well over your... Uh, $60 to get your $15 shipping credit. Just so you know, the Flamingo Brandy takes the Flamingo. Who was my backup? My backup was ba -ba 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 um, Barbara Douglas, I believe is my backup. Barbara, did you want the toucan? Barbara is next in line for the toucan if she wants it. And if uh, Barbara doesn't want the toucan, then next in line was Mallory. Let's see if Barbara Douglas wants the toucan. Does Barbara want the toucan? No to the toucan. Okay. Uh, so Mallory, did you want the toucan? Rachel's like, I'll take it. Let's see if Mallory wants the toucan. And then Sonia would be behind her. Sonia, did you want the toucan? I'm about ready to just let anybody claim the toucan. Let me see if Sonia passes on the toucan, we're going to give him a number if somebody wants to claim him that wasn't participating, that now decides they want him. Sonia. Sonia takes the toucan. Rachel, we can let the toucan go. Rachel, I'll find you another toucan mug. <laughs> All right, I'm going to sell these two together because one of them got a little bit of damage. I think just one has damage. Uh, these are uh, Bianca the Shih Tzu, and there is, a, there is an artist, Car Carla Armio, I want to say. Anyway, this is, this is what they look like. So you're going to get two. This is just, these are not choice. They're, these are going together because this one has a little damage on his top little uh, fur up there. But let me show you this one first. So this is a bank. This is a bank. And here is the artist 
signature under there. If it will focus, focus, focus. Come on, focus camera. Oh my goodness. Sometimes it is such a battle. There we go. There we go. There is the signature. So I may be reading that totally wrong and you might know what that says. And then this little guy is just a figurine. It's got the same artist signature under there. It might be Linda Armio. Maybe, maybe. I know. Uh, they're actually pricey little figurines. If you go and, and search on eBay, they sell for a goodly little amount of money. Look at that little face. Look at that little face. It's Bianca. And you're going to get them both, and we're at $10. $10. Hey, Philly Flipper. Thanks for coming over. Thanks for coordinating things. I think it's all, you know what? I just, it just is so amazing when you see like complete strangers, really. We're all strangers. You know, we, we just know each other through the internet and we come together and do such awesome stuff. It's like just the power of, of the people that come together and decide to do something where like one person doesn't make much of a difference. But when you gather hundreds together and everybody's willing to do a little piece, it can make such an impact. And I just, I think it's so amazing. It's so amazing. So thank you guys for, for being awesome. And Melissa is putting the link in there again. We are at $12 with Shelly. Yeah, it's so true. We can do so much working together versus so little if we're divided. So we just got to come together and make stuff happen. Absolutely. All right. We are at 15. Nope. We're at $15 with Pamela. Linda, looks like you're lagging a little bit, hon. Because we have been at 15 for a while. Yeah, yeah, that is so so true, Philly Flipper. I gotta tell you, because uh, I've this has been on this has been on my mind too, is that I my heart goes out to the people of Russia as well. Uh, because they I mean they're living in a really bad situation as well. And, you know, all of the stuff, the sanctions and all that that's happening really is going to affect them, you know, in the short term more than it affects the government in the long term. And so, you know, my, my, my heart and prayers are kind of going out for them as well. They're kind of like the, the unintended consequences of, of when things go this way. So, so let's keep like the actual, you know, the good people that live in Russia uh, under our thoughts and prayers too. Let's not forget about them. All right, I'm at $20 with Pamela. We are going once. We are going twice. And we are going to call Bianca sold. Yeah. And I don't want, I, I, Tiger, I, I appreciate like, we got to be careful too, because if there's um, too much said over in the chat, YouTube will actually punish this video. Um, so while I, um, I appreciate and, and know that it's happening, we got to be careful about how much we post over there because I know it is a thing. It is a thing. It's, it's horrible. The whole situation is just horrible. It's horrible all the way around, but we got to, we got to just uh, live through it. Okay. I definitely can't reach those other items. So, so are you finding food over there? Huh, Boosh? You finding food over there? Let me get some of my items that I can't reach because I put them out of my reach. There we go. No. All right. Yeah. Oh, now totally. Yep. 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 
I, I'm with you. I'm with you, Tiger. I, I'm agreeing with what you said. I, I and acknowledge what you said. It's it's just YouTube is such a weird thing. That's a crazy thing. They let all these porn bots go out there and do all this bad stuff. And see, I probably shouldn't even say that word. And yet, if we have a a very adult civil conversation about controversial things happening in the world, they can punish me. I just don't get me going. <laughs> All right, next. Um, we have a milk glass bowl. Now, at one time I did know who made this. It's a flower, which I think is absolutely fascinating that it is made in the shape of an open flower. So there we go. Uh, milk glass is making a comeback. The millennials really love the milk glass. And so I do look for some unusual pieces. Oh, Kaz, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. No, no harm, no foul. Rachel does love gifts, though. <laughs> I've got Nora at $10. Susan at $13. Eighteen is with Deborah, who is peachy me. I, was, I I I need to remember to like say that Deborah so that people like I don't see any Deborah like the, got eighteen in there. So peachy me is Deborah. Twenty is with Susan. Twenty is with Susan. Twenty one is with Reverend Mary. Twenty one is with Reverend Mary. Oh, you still have your your grandma's milk glass from the 1800s. That's good milk glass. That's like that's awesome stuff. This is more 1950s, 60s milk glass when it's not see through. That older, older stuff has that little fire rim and you can see through it. That's awesome stuff. Marsha's at twenty five. Let's counter down going once. Going twice. And sold. And that is going to Susan Blackwell for $27. <laughs> yeah, they won't, they won't take down my channel star. They just won't let me monetize, uh, which is how I support my buying habits <laughs> to bring you guys good stuff. All right. The next thing we have for sale is uh, a little, is it? Inuit Nuni doll is what I'm told this is. N-U-N-I. It is from Alaska. It is made with some real fur, which I believe is rabbit fur. Feels like rabbit fur. And it is wood. It's carved from wood. You can see. I don't know what this little, is that sticker? Or is that, I think that's just a little piece of paint missing off of the hands there. But there we go. And there's the back. It's very soft. Nice, nice little bunny. All right, we are at $5. Milk glass with candles in them in your window was the first jack-o'-lantern. Oh, really? That's cool. But see, here's the thing. As I can assure you, this rabbit provided a meal or two for a family. It did not die in vain just to give up his fur. Would not have happened for a culture that makes such things. And they believe in using every part of the animal. So it's, it's actually good that they've used the fur that to do something else with it versus, well, yeah, 
And what are you going to do with it? You know, so it's all good. 12, I'm sorry, $15 with Connie. All right, we are going once. Exactly, Melissa. Yeah, Native Americans, the Inuit, uh, they all were very, very conscious of utilizing. I mean, and they, and they, what's the word? They, um, revered living creatures. They re, and I shouldn't say it in the past tense. Like they have such, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Such a, a, a respect for life and for living things that they would never just do something frivolously. So, all right, going once, going twice for sure, tiger. And sold. From Africa. Hello, Africa in the house. <laughs> I love nativities. I do love nativities. Respect for life and the earth. That is so true. Yeah, we could definitely learn something from that. All right. I saw a just in case come in. So, Connie, I believe you get that for $19. $19 to Connie Wright. Unless I missed, did I miss? Oh, sorry, 20. 20, 20, 20. Because there, um, there was already a $19 offer. My bad. My bad. All right, just a just a few more items, guys, and then uh, I'm going to give some stuff away, like I like to do. So next is a set of little plates, little appetizer plates from Restoration Hardware. That is a Bolo brand, guys. That is uh, something you want to be on the lookout for, and they usually come in just plain boxes. These are little quote plates. Uh, they are, let's see if they have a name. For, no, either, these are from 2005. It's a restoration hardware exclusive. And each plate has a different quote. So there's start every day with a smile and get it over with. W.C. Fields. Everything is funny as long as it's happening to someone else. Will Rogers. These are kind of tongue in cheek. <laughs> Uh, if you want people to think you are wise, agree with them. <laughs> Love it. And then we have, uh, when you come to a fork in the road, take it. Yogi Berra. So a nice little set of four dishes, never been used in their original box. And I'm putting them all back the way they were and putting the lid back on. And there you go. It just has a, used to have a sticker right here is the only thing. Otherwise it's all in good shape. And you're like, but Danny, you hate to ship plates. You know what? I don't mind shipping plates when they come in their own little box. Like, so uh, obviously they're going to be packaged a little better in here. So they're not moving around, but it's kind of like double boxing already ready to go. When you thrift, you also learn history. That is so true. Yep. Yeah. So I research, oh gosh, what? Probably 20 or 30 items a day. I'm like researching and even stuff I don't buy, you know, in my videos, I, I research and put some comps and things and I'm looking stuff up. So there's a lot to learn out there. I mean, I will never stop learning. Like learning is, it's part of the fun part of this business. So all right, we're at $30 with Susan. Your wife doesn't think you're wise and always agree to disagree with her. Sunny. <laughs> 
$40 with Trendlin. Mikey bags of money in the house. $45 with Susan. Hey, Mikey, where are you going live from tonight? All right, we're going once. Remember, if it goes over 50, do those $5 increments. Yep, we're there with Brenda. So we're at $5 increments now. Going twice. And we're going to call it sold. If I can get that put back down. There we go. All right, we got two more lots. Sorry, Rachel, I'm not jumping ahead. I'm not jumping ahead. There is my sold. Brenda, you got it for $50. All right, let me get these little guys out here. Um, I thought, I, I really thought I had sold these last week and I somehow I didn't. Uh, but this is a little pair of bear planters. They match. They don't have any drainage holes on them. Uh, they're also part of the brand new stuff from World Market. But look how cute these little guys are. You're gonna get you're gonna get the pair. They are going together, and uh, they could be yours if the price is right. Okay, Troll Patrol, Troll Patrol. Holy moly! Why, why, why? Okay, I'm gonna give my mods just a moment to clear that up. Oh goodness gracious! Gotta love it. Gotta love it. All right. Going to the Venetian and going to walk the strip. Oh, it sounds fun, but exhausting. <laughs> My days of walking the stripper. Oh, like, no, <laughs> I'm like such a wimp now. We've got to go to area 15 though. All right, I got Trendelin at 25. Yep, my moderators are the best. All right, we're going once. We are going twice. And we're going to call them... Sold. And I'm just waiting for Tire to pop that sold in there. There it is. Trendlin, they are yours for $45. $45 to Trendlin. Okay, this is the last item. I'm going to have to stand up for this one, and I know this is going to scare Bougie. I know, buddy. And then you're going to get to come over here with me, okay, to give some stuff away. This, I believe, is a bedspread. It is it is a crocheted bedspread. I thought it was a tablecloth at first, but it's, it's way too big to be a tablecloth. So I do believe it is a... It could even be full size. I think it's a full size crocheted bedspread. Uh, I'll come closer and show you it, you know, up close, but I just wanted you to get an idea of the size. I don't have a tape measure on it. It's absolutely gorgeous, fantastic. What do you think, Bougie? And she's, he's as far over on his perch as he can get. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is this scary? Is it a scary crochet bedspread? All right. So there, now I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back to you and show, you know, some of the, the stitching close up. Oh, gosh, yeah. This took somebody a lot of work, a lot of work. Look at this. Look at that. It's the real deal. It's meant to be like the off-white, kind of a, kind of a beigey tan color. It's in just beautiful condition, beautiful condition.
Yeah, I I think it's bigger than a twin, Susan. It looks bigger than a twin to me. It looks like a full if I'm just gauging by what I see. I see. Oh, it's it's way bigger than any table. You could use it as a tablecloth. You could use it as a tablecloth, but I think it's way bigger than most tablecloths. Thank you. We're now over 50, so $5 increments. Trendelin is at 50. Yeah, I really think this one is a bedspread. I've sold the, the tablecloths before. They're not quite this big. But if you have a big table, you could definitely use it as a table. That's the cool thing. It could be either or. Yeah, it looks like a full to me. Looks like a full. Could possibly be a queen, but I'm not going to, I am not going to guarantee that. I got 55 with Brahita. It is so pretty. I can still see you. All right. We're at 55 with Brahita. Yeah, it would have to be a big table. I used to have a big, huge table. Used to have one. And then, like, what's the point? <laughs> Except to gather y'all your eBay stuff, right? We're at $60 with Trendlin. Right, Therese? Right? Yeah. I'd be afraid to, like, actually put any dishes on top of it. All right, we're at $60 going once. Going twice. And we're going to call it Soul. Hey, Boosh, you want to help me give some stuff away? You want to help me? Let me let me get a pistachio ready first before you get over here, okay? All right, I got my pistachio ready. It's ready. Last week I was wearing a top that had uh, a little silver beading on it, and I had no idea. And Bougie was going like nuts, and I didn't realize it until it was too late. Brahita jumped in there with a seventy dollar just in case, which makes her the winner at. $65. $65 to Brahida. Hey, baby. You want to step up? You want to step up? You want to step up? Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Hi. Hello. 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 Everybody wants to see you. You're going right up to my shoulder, aren't you? All right. We got to give some stuff away, my love. What do you think about that? Peekaboo. Peekaboo. Do you want this? Yeah. Take a bite. There you go. You're so messy. That's why I just think you must be a boy. No offense, guys, but boys are messier. Come on. Right, girls? Right? Boys are messier. Right? 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 Do you want more of this? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you took the whole thing. Okay. Oh, yeah. You're a little greedy this this little uh, afternoon there. You just take that whole thing. It's fine. Go ahead. You're going to, I know, you're just going to get it all in my hair. And you are just going to be so fun. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Let's give some stuff away. Here's what I got to give away today. Let me get a little organized here. Now, the way my giveaways work is these are going to go to my uh, people who have actually won things today and already have a package coming. Um, that's how we do it around here. So I'm going to show items and you claim it by putting in the number that I put. I'm, I'm just I'm gathering some stuff together here, gathering some stuff together. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got around here. Okay, I got a few things. I got a few things. Uh, let's see. I'm going to start with this cute, don't get scared, this cute little um, angel necklace. It's a little handmade guy. 
like how cute he is. He's like that little clay. And it's just got these little red, white, and blue beads. I think I would just use them as a little, just a little hanger, kind of a, kind of a daily bob. So this is going to go to my first winner today who puts in the number 26. You call it bougie blue. I love it. I love it. You can hang it in the bathroom. You could hang it in the bathroom. Boy, we got some lag going today. I can tell. Anne, Anne Nunez is going to get the little angel necklacey thing. And while we're doing this, guys, if you could just give my moderators an absolute big, big thank you. Today was quite challenging with all of the, the bots coming in and the trolls. And they do such a fantastic job. And they call the, the solds and they tell you what lot we're on. And they do all of that just as volunteers. And uh, I cannot express my appreciation enough for these amazing people. Um, I'm so humbled that you even just want to come over here and help me. I just truly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys. You are the best. And, uh, you know, I love you all. And then uh, how about a little, how about a, how about a bobblehead? <laughs> Talk. Oh, we're going to give this little guy away. Now here, I'm going to get a little trickier. What are you, are you bobbling your head at it too? Are you, is he scaring you? Yeah? You were scared of the dog? Oh my goodness. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Good boy. Yeah. You talk all morning long. And then when I want you to talk on camera, you won't talk on camera. All right. So we're going to give this away just to kind of help it up a little bit. You know, some people have faster internet than others. We're going to go with the fifth person who puts in the number 55. You're curious, aren't you? You like it, don't you? You like it, don't you? <laughs> You're so funny. You're so funny. All right, let's see who we got. Ah, uh, one, two, three, four. Linda Imbus. Linda Imbus, you are number five, and you are getting the little bobblehead doggy. There we go. All right, next, I have a little trinket box. It's a little made in India trinket box. Little lacquer trick and trink, 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 trinket box. <laughs> This is going to go to, hmm, let's go with the third person to put in the number 11. Number 11, third person. And I'm watching, and I'm watching, and that's okay. I'm going to go back to first person soon. One, two. Dawn Irizari. Dawn, did you purchase something today? Your name is not. No, Dawn, I'm sorry. This is just for winners. Uh, so I'm going to go to the next person. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Remember, this is just if you have purchased something today. Uh, hey, that wasn't nice. J.A., did you win something today? Yes, you did. Okay. Joanne wants to go one, two. So Connie Wright. Go into Connie Wright. It makes it so hard, you guys. <laughs> Connie Wright got that one. All right. I'll go back to first person on this one. This is a little vinyl Cupid doll. I thought maybe it whistled and it, it doesn't have a squeak. Uh, it does have some writing on the back. I can't, I can't read what it says. Don't know what that says. And neither can you because it won't focus. There we go. That's all I can see. Anyway, little vinyl Cupid doll is going to go to the first. You like the Cupid doll? You like that better than the doggy? Yeah. 
Oh, you really, you like the baby. He likes the baby. Don't chew, don't chew the toe on the baby though. That's not nice. No. All right. Save the Cupid doll by being the first person to put in the number 99. <laughs> cheeky bougie. We're calling you cheeky. Cheeky bougie. Yeah. You took all of your, you took all of your uh, pistachio already. You took it all. All right, that's going to Trisha, Trisha Ernest. Okay, then I have three of the same item. So I will take the first three people on this next one. These are the social climbers. They go on your wine glasses. They're little silicone koalas. Uh, I just love these so much. You could probably find 101 purposes for this. Uh, so uh, the first three people who put in the number six are going to get a set of these. The number six. And let's see who wants the little koalas today. What's really cool is I do not have to leave to go pick up Noah, but I do have to take Rachel to horseback riding. So we are heading out after this. Rachel's going to go ride some horsies and uh, have some fun. So you will not get an invoice from me until tomorrow evening. Tomorrow evening is when I will send out the invoices on these. So we've got... Pamela Powell, Puffles 65, and Reverend Mary E. Parker. You are all getting some of the social climbers. Yay! Gosh, guys, thank you everyone for hanging out with me this afternoon. Um, just, I, there was a point where I thought, you know, I feel like I'm going to like maybe stop doing these sales. And, and then all of a sudden you guys just like started showing up and I'm like, I can't stop. You're too fun to hang out with all Friday afternoon. So, so there you go. Not going to end anytime soon. As long as you guys are willing to show up and have some fun with me and help me laugh at the trolls. <laughs> Sorry. Did I knock you off balance? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what? You want to give kisses? Oh, thank you. See, that was a kiss. <laughs> we do have fun with our animals. All right, everyone. Have an absolutely amazing weekend. Please go check out the channels of my moderators. And uh, Mikey Bags of Money is going live from the Las Vegas Strip tonight. It's not shopping related for him tonight, but it's a really fun hangout. I'm, I'm going to try to pop into your chat there tonight, Mikey, after horseback riding and all that good stuff, of course. But maybe I will see some of you over in Mikey Bags of Money chat. And he, maybe we'll see him play with some slot machines, see some crazy people, maybe see some violence. No, 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 no. Just kidding. Could happen, though. Could happen. All right, everyone. With that, go be profitable. And make it fun. We'll see you on the next one. Say goodbye. Say goodbye, Bougie. Just say it. <laughs>